In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do this macro. Keep an eye on my hotbar. See how the icon keeps changing. Number two, that's my uh, marksman rotation. Um, so you can see it keeps changing. I, I just need to keep pressing that button and it'll keep rotating my rotation. Over and over and over until I stop. <coughs> or until the target's dead. Uh, all you need to do is type in slash macro or open your macro um, window. You got general macros and specific uh, character macros. Uh, you just uh, click on new, <coughs> select one of the icons, just select any, doesn't matter, just select the question mark icon, type in any name, click OK. Then on that um, text box down there, you need to type in uh, a macro. And I'll, um, macro is basically a line of code that uh, the game will read. In this case, it's called um, sequence macro. I will write it on the description and uh, right now. This one right here. Here's the the line of code. It's a uh, cast sequence reset equals four. What that means is that. Um, if you don't press the button, the macro will reset uh, in four seconds. Uh, then uh, the name of the first spell in your in your rotation. In my case, it was Serpent Sting. Uh, it can be anything in your um, rotation. Uh, followed by a comma, a space. Then the second uh, spell in your rotation. Followed by another comma and a space. And then the third uh, spell in your rotation, and so forth and so forth. Um, and uh, then you can just drag, uh, drag it to uh, your spellbar. Now this macro will not um, work with all of them. As you can see, an arms warrior's uh, rotation is pretty erratic uh, with the with the overpower procs and the execute procs. It's not really a rotation; it's just a matter of cooldowns and when they're cooldown and uh, when they proc. <coughs> For this, you need this uh, awesome. Um, power or uh, add on that I'm using here. Um, I'll teach you that in a different video how to use it and how to set it up.